Fantasy. You know the name, and if you're a fan, your favorite game, if not the very definition of what you feel a Final Fantasy game should be like, comes to mind. For me, the best games were on the Super Nintendo, and a lot of fans want to go back to those style of games. Just look at how many versions of Final Fantasy IV are out there. If you're one of those that prefer the old school Final Fantasy all of the Super Nintendo days, then break out your smartphone because Final Fantasy Dimensions brings the melodrama and the ATB battles right to your iPhone. Dimensions is, all in all, a very faithful old style Final Fantasy game, bringing back the concept of light versus darkness, wars fought over powerful crystals, and the young bands of heroes that seek to save the world. Dimensions follows two groups of heroes. One being led by a young, slightly energetic boy named Sol, and the other by a more cold and tight-lipped boy named Noct. Sol and his friends are sent to defend a crystal in the Kingdom of Lux from Imperial invaders, who have to be Noct and his friends serving as slaves of the Empire. The crystal explodes and the parties get mixed together, forcing would-be enemies to team up to find their friends and learn more about the Empire's evil plot involving the crystals and their own destiny as the warriors of light and darkness. It's a pretty safe and simple story for Final Fantasy, but the overall presentation of Dimensions really sets it apart, and the characters are a lot more fun and interesting than some of the older game's main casts. Noct is cold, distant, and seems like a very troubled character, while Alba is fun, goofy, and has some of the best lines in the game. Controlling characters on the map is simple. A D-pad can appear wherever your finger touches the display or be set in a fixed position. It's a little slippery to get the hang of for someone like me who just got an iPhone a few months ago, but since this isn't a precision-focused platformer, it works really well. It wouldn't be a Final Fantasy game without a great battle system, though, and Dimensions does not disappoint. All the great staples of Final Fantasy games are here, from the active time battle system to the stat-changing magic spells and abilities. The battles feel perfectly at home on the iPhone, and veterans of the series will immediately pick up on familiar monsters and boss tactics. The menu options are nice and big for your fingers to tap and select options and commands, and the fact that you do have to tap twice to confirm your selection may be a little annoying at first, but since it's there to make sure you don't actually cast Kiraja when you mean to cast Holy or something is very handy. The overall difficulty of Dimensions is a little easy at first. It definitely gets a lot harder as the game goes on. Most of the bosses are going to require a little bit of grinding to get past, but I didn't find that too annoying. Dimensions also features the best job system the series has seen yet. Each of the two parties gain different jobs as the story progresses, and characters allocate job points to increase the max level of each job. While you can't allocate AP for certain abilities and must stick with the planned progression of each job's stats and ability growth, the system is very easy to use and master. The combinations are fun and you can even combine special attacks for fusion abilities, and fans of Final Fantasy V and other games will feel right at home with the job system. The biggest drawback is the investment, and not just with time. You can buy the whole game for about $30, or try it out in chunks, buying each episode separately. By around Chapter 3, I had spent about 18 hours in the game with still a lot more to go. It may seem like a lot of cash, but considering Dimensions is a fully-fledged old-school Final Fantasy game, I'd certainly think it's worth the gill.